I just realized that uh, there's only four places you can put the this. You can put it here or something. I thought uh, you could put it anywhere and if it's in the right place somewhere then it uh, would... Nothing? Hmm. Then it would go into its, pla its place but... Yeah, that makes it pretty easy. Damn. I thought it was harder. Well, I made it harder for my for myself, so... <laughs> okay, let's test the... I know. I think that will do. And... No... That... And... These... And... This? No. That's too thin. Well, there could be this one there. Oh yeah. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, sodium benzoate, food starch, caffeine, glycerol ester, ascorbic acid, yellow six, red forty, ethanol. I didn't and put the trazepam. That orange much soap, there. vodka, and a roofie. Roofiness. Okay. Let's see the evidence. So, I don't know who that belongs to. Can I do something with that? I mean, like a under the microscope, maybe. Nothing interesting there. Nothing there. Ah, the ring. One ring to rule nothing. them all. Nothing interesting there. What do you mean nothing? Nothing there. Is the one ring? Nothing. Nothing interesting there. Nothing there. Nothing. Uh, he's an idiot. Come on. When the murder was committed, Clorinda's killer was wearing the ring we found. There. That's all I wanted to see. Or here. Okay, so we're done with those two. No, I'm not done with that. Hmm. Can I do something with that fruit? Or whatever. Uh, any chemical analysis? Maybe. Okay, so locations. What's with what the mean? the guy? No, not him. The f f f the husband of the of the wife <laughs> of the deceased. Can I look around? Or I don't have a warrant. Okay, I don't have a warrant. I'm done with the other place, so... Shouldn't go back there. Okay, let's hear what he has to say about the tox screen. Oh, STDs. Okay, that's good too. She was tested for a wide range of STDs last week. She went the whole nine yards. HIV, gonorrhea, chlamydia, HPV. Even syphilis. Herpes. The results were all negative. It appears Stephen was telling the truth. I find it unlikely that they would both have such comprehensive screening done at the same place and time, coincidentally. Well, <clears throat> yeah. So, case file. Ah, hundred percent cunning. Okay. Yeah, the chlorinated spawn oh. water. 
No, I don't. For what? We love CSI fans. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I don't care. Uh, so... What should I be doing? Hmm. I have the ring to rule them all. <coughs> I have the fingerprint that I can't match to anything. Oh wait, I might be able to ca uh I'll be able to match it with uh, the, the the victims. Fingerprint. I haven't tried that. Or have I? Oh, I have. Okay. Ah, what I can. Can't I run it through the... That? No? Okay. I run it here. Don't need that. Okay, there's one more thing I I could try. Use the microscope and put under the ring and 200. I can see tiny imperfections along the edges of all the decoration on this ring. Perhaps it was handmade. I can see tiny imperfections along Yeah, shut up. I can see Shut up. I can see. Shut up! I can see. Come on, guy. I can see time. God. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Pac-Man! Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I didn't know you can do that. Nothing is interesting here though, but... Alright, so... What the hell should I do, Mr. Lawrence Fishburne? If you wouldn't mind, I have some questions for the victim's husband. Well, yeah, me too, but... Where is he? Hey! Hey! Is he on a crime scene? Okay, that was an ad break. Oh, here he is. Hello, hubby. Excuse me, sir. We're from the Las Vegas Crime Lab. May we have your name? Ernest Goldwasser. Clarinda is my wife. Nice name. Oh, God. I was at home when, when I, I, I think it was Detective Brass who called me. He said she was gone. I got here as quickly as I could. He's got a strange face. And... He is the killer, I think. He looks like a killer. Well, no, he doesn't. He looks like a... The Elephant Man. Uh, okay, how long have your wife been a patient here? Yeah, she checked in about two and a half weeks ago. You know, people can't appreciate how hard the life of an entertainer really is. You know, it's that pressure to stay on top or to, or to hold on through the ups and downs. Sometimes you can't help but self-medicate with booze and, and, and pills. I mean, it's just so vicious. You try being as good as your last failure for a while. We'll see how strong you manage to be. That's what she so said. Proud of her. She finally realized her life had become unmanageable, and, and she made the choice to give in and ask for help. 